What is up, my guys, girls, gamers, and gamies? Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Today we are back with more LEGO Fortnite. Now, before I go any further, if y'all enjoyed this episode and want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to share this with your friends, share this with your family, share this with whoever. Make sure notifications are turned on so you never miss any of my videos when they go up. Also, if you feel like becoming a member and want to see these videos early, y'all go check out the join button on my channel or check out the link down in the description. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Last episode, I added some double shacks. I think they look really cool. I'm going to turn this area into kind of like a suburban neighborhood. Uh, I've got my villagers working. Actually, I need to see what they've collected so far. Uh, if they've gone to work. How's your job? Granite, Vons, soil. Hey, I don't even have to use a... I don't have to make a shovel now to, make, uh, to get soil. Got some wheat. More fertilizers. We're good to go. We can actually make a garden plot now. Where's Maisie? Let's see. She should be giving me what? Planks and rods? Yeah, give me your wooden rod. Okay, so we got enough, we got uh, some new stuff. Uh, I'm only having two villagers in this area for now. Um, I don't know if I want to move it. I don't know if I want to do three. I might do three, we'll see. But I think having two villagers at different villages is kind of a good idea. I've added a campfire here in the middle just to kind of spread out like the villagers, just in case skeletons get nearby. That's just kind of a, a precaution and a, a security detail that I, I wanted to add. I don't know what I'm going to do here, but this is just on the outskirt of the village square, as you can see. Uh, but for this episode, I want to add more builds, uh, get the rest of the basic starter shacks out of the way, as well as upgrade the village and go over some plans that I've got for the future of the series I'm because I've got an idea of what I want to do I have moved my stuff to the chest now so I just gotta start moving things over and upgrade the village to start off with I need to eat though uh, and for anyone wondering which skin I'm rocking today I'm rocking the prisoner skin um, I don't have it fully unlocked unfortunately I never got a chance to actually unlock it I, I tried following the challenges I never got a chance to unlock all of the levels Let's see so we need granite and not root uh, Speaking of like the levels and stuff, I wish like because we talk so much about like which skins they should bring back, and I got plenty of grand. I should just grab that. But speaking on the skins that they should bring back, you know, we, they should do like different themed versions and put them in the item shop or something, or do it in a battle pass just to kind of resemble the OG seasons. Uh, for the prisoner one, I'd say bring back the challenges, bring back the the old challenges to complete the levels and the, and the and to earn all the different styles. Because that was something that I feel everyone's going to get left out on. Because I guarantee there's going to be some people that have, like, say the Drift skin, but they don't have all the levels for them. Or the Prisoner skin like me, and don't have all the styles for him either. So it's like, they should bring back the challenges to complete all the styles. Because some I didn't even know they had challenges for. Um, so let's see, what else do we need? We just need... Oh, we're good to go, so we can go ahead and upgrade. Look at us, already... Oh, wait, was... Oh, no, this is our first village. I was looking at it saying it was a level 1 for some reason. No, we're at level 4 now. I think we're going to need root, planks, and marble. So, 10 planks is what I'm going to need. I think I got the... I got to go grab the wood. I can't forget my trusty old wood. I think we got it in here. What else do we have? I, I have the food in this one. I might go ahead and put some of the seeds up and the... Yeah, that works. I can hold on to this meat. Actually, I should probably just go ahead and cook that, put that in the chest. Um, if I seem to be talking really fast, y'all let me know down in the comments. That way I can start to slow down here and there. Because sometimes I, I don't catch myself when I do it. So it's kind of just me being precautious. So we've got that. I've got enough of the garden plots. I don't know if I'm ready. I think I might do that this episode. I don't have like a... a a greenhouse yet which I kind of want to make one but I don't think we're gonna do that yet. I think maybe placing a garden somewhere just to start it off and then build around it that would work also that might work so maybe start well no we got this out here I'm getting all different ideas but what I need to focus on first get the rest of the planks I think I need 10 more so do that Make the pickaxe because we did unlock some of the nut root weapons last episode. So three nut root rods. So I'll have to wait for the lumber mill to be done. Uh, we've got the green and uh, we actually got the green recurve crossbow and the long sword. 
We got the health charms, cool head charm and health charm, basic compass, which I need to make at some point. Well, no, it's the other one. The survival compass is the one I actually need. Dynamite, which I'll make eventually. See, the, so there's so much stuff I could do, and it's raining. Please don't be another lightning storm. They talk like the the NPCs talked about it last episode, saying that they were they were uh, tired of being in the storms. And I swear, if they put me through another lightning storm, I'm gonna lose my mind. Because literally every time, like, I just want to be clear: if you are in your house and thinking you're safe from a lightning storm, you're not. Like, you will still take damage. So they really need to add something like. I wouldn't say like an umbrella, but that would be cool to have an umbrella. Now look, I've thrown around ideas before that have made no sense. I threw, like, several episodes back, I threw down the idea of them having snow. Little did I know that they actually add, that they would add that in the, in the next update. And I, I just kind of accidentally got lucky with that one. So it's like, y you kind of take what you can with this game, and... I mean, with with the snow, it's not used to like make snowballs or anything, which was what my idea was. Instead, uh, it's used to make like ice cream, which is also a pretty good one. But I don't know how to make ice cream. It might be. I think it's probably. The, I want to say the juicer, but I might be wrong about that. Uh, we need to go grab bones. I'll go ahead and head to the chest and grab that. Where's that? Okay. I need to get some wolf claws as well. So I need to do that as well. I need to make another axe. I'm kind of out of everything. What is that? Oh, those are the... Are those the... Are those skeletons or the dummies? I don't know. I don't really want to be near them. What? What? No. <laughs> as I go to pick it up, all the fertilizer just explodes in my face. I hate when it just a turd explodes right in my face. <laughs> That's... Uh, what the heck? Y'all saw that they were all just exploding. Just... Poof. <laughs> okay. I got that. I got more fertilizer. I don't know when I'll make it. Actually, I should just go ahead and grab the, these knot roots. Make a pickaxe. Make an axe. Good for that. I will make... I should go ahead and make a shovel. I know I'm going to need it. Fishing rod. Any cords. Wolf claws. Silk thread. So we may not make a fishing rod yet. Um... I'm ready to make vehicles again, but that might that that'll be later in the series. But I'm more happy that we're not we're not having to follow a strict guideline of what we gotta do. Like for this, this is just us having fun. I, now I am getting the basic materials because that's what I need. Um, actually, I want to avoid the skeletons for right now. Actually, I want my come on. I want to see how many it takes just to beat up one skeleton. So far, just one. Daggum. It's a three-on-one assault. I don't know if that skeleton really stood much of a chance. Right now, I don't stand much of a chance, because right now, I'm just kind of out here in the cold. I'm going to head to the cave again. Uh, get the marble. That's something that I need to achieve in here. Actually, while I'm at it, I can go and grab more knot root. Get that done. And there's something back there, but I don't have no idea what that is. I've barely, again, I, I haven't done anything since the last episode, and don't get near me at all, Mr. Skeleton. Leave me alone. <sighs> Go play with your friends or something. Okay. So we're back. Back at it again. Get the marble. Now, I do like that they've kept the green weapons specifically for certain materials, like, because I'm kind of not a fan of the regular, like, r the basic axe being able to cut down the thicker trees. I used to like when it was just, like, you had to upgrade the axe first. Like, you had to upgrade the crafting bench. But that's just me. I know that it's probably better for most people to be able to uh, do it without having to upgrade and just do it with the basic axe. And my short little arms almost kind of reach the knot root. Okay. I mean, we'll probably be good on it. Ugh, get away from me. it. No. <sighs> Come here. I gotta use a sword more often. Ow, do I have food? I do have food. Good thing I kept some corn on me. Always keep some food on you just in case of emergencies. You never know when you're gonna need it. And right now, I definitely needed it. I don't recall if I checked this chest over here or not. I will definitely check it right here, though. 
just go ahead and get all my bases covered. I did not check it. We got blast powder, short sword, torch, and snowberry seeds. So that'll be good for when we make a garden. See, like, we can already get some of the food that we would get from other biomes and place it here. And I actually did manage to come up with another rule for this series. Um, I, since, because I was thinking about, like, what other rules I should uh, keep from the hardcore uh, style. But this one's actually going to be different. So what I'm going to do, maybe, um, we'll see how it goes. Maybe this one's just going to be for fun. But I, I, I like the idea of starting over in each area, so... Basically, I would take, I wouldn't take any materials with me. Like I'd have to make a new axe. I'd have to make a new crafting bench. Like I'd have to get the materials on the way to like the desert biome. The only thing I could carry with me is like the charms, basically. I kind of like that idea. It sounds interesting, but I might, I might keep this on just the relax and have fun kind of world, which I, I like. That's really more my style. I like being able to just relax. And I, I see that roller right there. I don't know how many rollers I'm going to need. I know I need the sand rollers soon. But using the pickaxe is the, just the best way to fight these things. Four shots right there. That's all it took. And I know it uses up the, uh, the pickaxe, but I mean... Okay, I, for some reason I already checked that one, but I didn't check the other one. I need to start marking which chest, or I need to... St oh, I need to start breaking the chest. That would be so much easier. Look at me thinking ahead. I'm actually using my brain for once. <laughs> I'm gonna get as much marble as I can, probably until this pickaxe breaks, just so I can, you know, have leftovers and, you know, be good to go for whatever else. I think that's kind of a good, a good way to go about things. One more hit. There we go. So I and anytime you hit it on like a wall or something, it does take damage. So I try not to use it at that point. I'm curious if there is a fishing hole somewhere here because. I uh, I did learn where the the vendetta floppers are supposed to be. Uh, thanks to let me go to the comment real quick. I apologize. This is I need to start doing these ahead of time. This is really more like it, it helps more just to have my phone ready. Like I I, I typically keep my phone out just to uh, check the time or like I have a I have a timer just to keep track of how long I've been recording. That way I don't go too long because. You know, when I first started, that would be a thing, uh, accidentally. Like, I'd go into, like, further, like, 35 to 40 minute episodes. And, you know, I don't have a problem doing that, those long of an episodes. But, you know, I can see how some people don't want to watch the, watch it for that long. Let me see. I think this is it. Uh, yes, uh, Sean Kyle, 9985, my special member. Uh, Sean Kyle said, FYI, Vendetta Flubber is found fishing in the caves. So, I don't know, um how long I'd have to go fishing in a cave for, but I'm hoping to find one. Um, that's why I was like, if there is one in here, I might need to mark it just so I can remember to come back. Um, cause I, I really want to find a vendetta flopper. That's like the one fish I haven't found. They don't, they don't have a marker system or a, um, a checklist, if you will. They don't have a checklist for which, um, for which fish you've caught in, in this, in this form of the game. They used to do that on the on the old Fortnite game. Like they used to keep track of like which fish you caught and how big they were. Now they just keep track of all the characters that the all the NPCs you've talked to on the Battle Royale Island, which is all right too. In my opinion, I say just do away with the NPCs. We really don't need them. Like I, in my in my head, my my perfect world, I just say bring like take us back to the original Fortnite, like. I'm just saying, there's there's a lot they could do, and I wish they would do. For example, have a Lego Fortnite version of the original Battle Royale Island, or heck, have a Battle Royale in Lego Fortnite form. Like that sounds fun. Like imagine having like Lego weapons and being able to do this like funny stuff. Like that's a that's something I would enjoy. I don't know if y'all would enjoy that, but I feel like that's something they should incorporate into the game. Now, when they do the Disney stuff, there's no telling what they're going to include. I, I'm hoping for some kind of good merger with that. Like, I don't know if they're going to do like a new world. I don't know if they're going to do new skins. I have no idea. But I'm excited for that. Um, they've recently added a new uh, bundle thing into the game, the Guardians of the Galaxy skins. But I'm not going to pay $25 for that. No thanks. Oh, I could get... Hold on. What can I pick? I'm going to put that away. Um... What do I not... Oh, I can... 
just merge that together. Anything else? What? Well, I can. I'll do that. Keep the sword. Grab, grab more glass. I think I'll be able to make the basic compass, but I'll hold on to the glass for now. Uh, seeds for the corn. Hold on to those. I'm gonna. Well, should I grab? Them? I should take the mushrooms. So I'll, I'll eat this meat. Grab the mushrooms. And be good to go. No, give me back my corn. I like corn. Corn's really good. I like. I. It's, I'm about to go off on a rant for just corn. Corn is delicious. Like, on the cob and like in the, like just off. I like buttered corn. Like that sounds really good. No, well, would it be buttered corn or sweet corn? I probably sweet corn, but like just corn on the cob is my go-to. Oh, that brings me back to like school memories, like uh, elementary school memories. Man, they used to have, and this like this was just for my school. I don't know about anyone else, but like, I believe like the bowl, like the little bowls and plates were like yellow, and they were like, not plastic or anything, but it's like they they had some type of like specific colored plates, and like, um, they would keep they would have the corn like small little pieces of corn on the cob, in the little bowls like as a side dish, like in in a way it's like the plate was the main meal, and the little bowl was like whatever side you wanted. And I, anytime they had corn, I got corn. Because I think they gave you, like, two different options. I might be wrong about that. But I just remember getting, like... I remember, like, whenever they had corn, I get corn. Oh, and the square pizzas, too. God, I wish I can go, like... I, I wish I could just relive my life again through, like... I, I don't know. It makes me think of, like, that one Zac, Zac Efron movie. But I, and all in enough, I haven't watched it. I've just seen a little bit, like, little bits and pieces of it. Which I really should watch. Um, they... I don't know. I just miss being a kid again, and experiencing like memories like that. Because getting to like re like getting to think of those, it's like, man, life was so much easier. <laughs> we didn't have to worry about what was going on in the world. We we were happy. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do we have enough to upgrade? I need one more plank. How did I not get one more plank? Well, that can be put up there. I should probably go and grab. The claws. Actually, I'm going to start merging everything that I have in here and then work my way back. So, oh, hold on to the corn. Go ahead and cook the rest of that corn. What burned? Some Something just got, like, burnt. Maisie, did you jump into the fire? What'd you do? Uh, let's see. Wood, not root, glass. So, I don't know if I... Oh, wait, well, we do have the fishing dock ones. So I figured out you don't need to, uh, you don't have to make a village at the at the beach to make the fishing dock bills. Like, you don't have to get that to get the other thing. You just upgrade the basic village and, like, you know, bada bing, bada boom. So we do have enough for a stone breaker, which I might make. I'm definitely making a spinning wheel. I probably make also a food processor, so we might be good to go there. Anything else? Do I need to worry about anything else? Probably not. More fertilizer. Thanks for dropping a turd right by the fire. So, I think we just gotta grab this one plank and then upgrade again. And we're good to go there. Oh, we don't have it. Ah, crap. Okay. Let me build a spinning wheel. Spinning wheel, gonna go a nice even spot. Boom. And then food processor... I think that's, yeah, that's metal. I think that's rot. Okay, so I got that. I'm hoping that was in the village. Not enough. Uh, I still need a stone breaker, but I don't want to. I don't want to use that yet. Just not yet. I, I'm gonna make some. Uh, I gotta make some stuff. So. Silk. Put all the silk in the spinning wheel. Get that worked on. Um, I'm hoping the villagers will walk around this area and be able to actually go in here. Otherwise, I may have messed up. Well, because again, I only have two, so it may not be as much of a problem to do that. Let's see. I want to do a roomy shack. I think a roomy shack would look nice. Um, where do I want it, though? You know, I think having it, like, back here could be interesting. Do I want it like that, maybe? 
I don't know. I I don't know how I want my houses. Because I know I want my, like, suburban neighborhood look to be like this. So, I'm going to line this up. Get that going. Actually, that probably works. Uh... Okay, so apparently since I'm in that one spot, it doesn't work. Um, that's actually fine. I could, I could use the room. That works for me. I'm good with that. And that we got the silk going. So on this side of the of the little neighborhood, we're gonna have like, uh, just the the rest of the builds. While on this side, we, what the heck? What are you doing? I'm actually curious what you're doing. Wait, can I push it? Ah, oh, dang it. I wanted to push the sheep into the fire. What the heck? I mean, I don't want to say it, but like, I mean, I like some, I like lamb chops. So, I mean, if, you, if you're if you feeling frisky, I go, I say go ahead and jump into the fire. But I mean, it's coming at your own cost. Like, that's on you. Actually, if I build the rest of this, I could probably pick up more fertilizer. I'm going to be stacked on fertilizer. You know, I said before that I wanted like a lot of fertilizer to make a garden. And holy crap, I'm probably about to get like, a huge like barrel ton of just turds to make a garden <laughs> like i'm getting more than i bargained for probably i'm pretty sure that's what happened they were like you want you want fertilizer fine we'll we'll drop a bunch of turds right on your village and we'll see how you like it it's gonna be a real nasty village no one's gonna want to visit it no no one wants to even see uh, one side of it they, they they're gonna they're not even gonna bat an eye at it like, the first thing that's going to even sense that your village is here is going to be their nose because of how smelly the turds are. <laughs> like, we, we've got 32 fertilizer. Like, we're we're off to a good start, for sure. Like, no cheats, no nothing. Imagine being able to truly cheat in this game. Now, if you haven't watched the, 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 uh, the 1,000 subscriber video where I played LEGO Fortnite Prop Hunt, that video I definitely cheated. And if you want to figure out how, y'all go check out check out that video. I don't know what I'm gonna build in here. Probably put the stone breaker in here, and maybe something else uh, in here as well. We'll see. Do I have enough wood for anything else? Ooh, I would. Uh, I need more wood for that one. Could be all right. So I'm just doing this to kind of get, you know, I'm I'm just making a village. I'm not trying to do, you know. Uh, the basic shacks only. I'm not trying to do one build over the other. I'm just trying to work with one thing. Now, if we attempted the log cabin, where could we put that? Oh, like an out, like an outhouse. I could do an outhouse. I like the idea of an outhouse. And the thing is, I don't. Well, I needed to build in the village just because of uh, the upgrade, so I could get the higher level. I don't know where I want. I want my outhouse though. I think if I'm going to do it, I need to build along the lawn of where it's at. So I'm going to build it out probably a little more. I think that's right. I need to back up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I know my character's in the way. You know what? I'm, f I'm fine with that. Actually, that's, that's not bad. You know, be right next to the outhouse anytime you got to go. I mean, we got a lot of fertilizer. That's probably the best place for an outhouse. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so for anyone that has m maybe a, a clue of what I'm talking about, so the so there's different toilets in the game, uh, as y'all are aware of. There's different types of toilets, and I can think of one specific one if it, if I haven't unlocked already. I'm actually gonna check to see if it's done. Like if I have it. No, I need to start on the build again. It's, it's gonna look real cool. It's actually gonna look like an outhouse. You know, you got your windows, that way it doesn't, uh, that way you can fumigate it. <laughs> it's not gonna smell so bad. I would like, uh, so this is just me. Uh, you know, so in Minecraft you can, di you can dig down and everything and make like underground bases and all that. I don't know how that, how they would get that to work in this game, but that would be nice to see. But that's just me. Um, I don't know. They, they could attempt it. Now, for this, where is it? Um, it should be here. We need one wood. I need to grab one wood. We do have it unlocked. Okay, I think I think something died to the fire. I think something jumped in the fire and just started cooking. 
Where is it? I had. Do I not have a single piece of wood? Did I use all my wood on that one shed? Hold on, now I gotta go find just one singular piece of wood. Have y'all seen any wood? No? Alright, thank you. I broke that one log that I had down here in the ditch. Now, if I had a lot, a lot more logs, I definitely would attempt to, like, just make a hole. Uh, Ooh, I can... What can I put in here? I, I feel like I should find a way to put something in here, or, like, a bridge or something. Like, make something, make it look a little classy. I could see something there. Now, I did get a comment about the crates. Now, I said, like, I, and, I, and I responded to it, like, I'll break them, but if it doesn't work, I'm going to keep throwing them, because... I was told that you would get materials from it, but every time I've broken a crate, it wouldn't break, like, completely, like, the animation for the breakage would not happen. It would just make the sound of it breaking. So, I don't know. Thunder Punch? Good to go with a Thunder Punch there. Do we have enough for that stuff? Okay, we're good to go. So, I'm gonna test it out, see if I can break the crate. If it doesn't give me anything... So, I... I'll show you what I mean if it does. Okay, thank goodness they finally do break. Well, that just feels like cheating. I feel like I shouldn't have been able to get those materials. Maybe I shouldn't have tested it. They need to make it tougher now. And I'm doing a, a, a method of just being able to carry without actually being able to carry it in my backpack. That's what I'm doing. Don't go in the ditch. Yeah, gum it. Looks like I might have to ditch it. No, I'm joking. Come on. No, back here. Come on, back to me. I need to start carrying just one of them and then bring it back up here to the... I'm sending it to the ditch. Actually, maybe it's best if I go back to my village, put something up, and then come back. Because if I leave the world completely, I will lose those materials. So let's go ahead, head back, put the stuff up. Um... Uh, and then go ahead and grab some copper and flex wood, which again, I feel like is a little bit cheating, but that's just me. Another skeleton. Where's my team? Where's my team Fortnite? They're chilling by the fire. Of course they are. Why are they? I don't, I don't understand. Uh, let's see. Uh, what can I put up for now? Oh, wait, I know what I needed to do. We're, we're not done yet with the outhouse. Actually, I'm going to take out the skeleton before it gets any closer. Hold on, y'all. Hey, everyone. I am back. Uh, I apologize for that quick little cut. Uh, I know that seemed random, but I had someone at my door, and I had to take a quick cut. And then, turns out, I had a lot more planned to do than I originally intended. Um, I ended up going to Nashville, Tennessee, after I cut just a few seconds ago from your time. Now, it's kind of weird thinking about it from a future perspective. Um... But I went to Nashville, Tennessee, uh, hung around uh, the uh, Bridgestone Arena area, just had some fun. Uh, it was a family trip, just a thing. Um, <laughs> that was what happened right after that cut. So I'm back after the fact, you know, just chilling, just, you know, hanging out late at night, doing my thing. Um, I forgot where we left off, but uh, as I was, like, just traveling on to Nashville, I realized we're on the 80th episode. This this counts as the 80th episode of our LEGO Fortnite series. Um, also, I got a chance to read some extra comments uh, from the last video as I was going. So, I, I had a lot to do. Um, I actually want to get into the comments. And again, I apologize if I'm talking it fast. I'll try and slow down. Um, I got a, court it, a, court it, a comment from Jordan and 205 saying you should have three villagers so the third one can cook actually that's not a bad idea and let me see how much it's going to take to get to the next person one more level and luckily for me i have the materials to get that so we're going to go ahead and upgrade get that done and out of the way and i'm going to hire well i have to make another bed where do i do that well mm, do i want to make i should make room i need to make I got an idea. I'm going to move around the beds. Get that all nice and handled. Where's the beds? There's a lot to go over from just the upgrades alone. So I'm going to... Let's see. I think that's going to be even enough. Get it up against the wall. Uh, and then one more over here, which will be good to go. Have one more villager, and then that's it for this village. So I'm going to take this bed right here. Assign it to me. 
get out of bed and hire what's her name? Tabby. Hi, where I'm from, I'm known as Tugger Woman, but you can call me Tabby. Meow. Nice to meet you. Uh, something about the cat's meow. Uh, you need a bed, of course. I'm going to let you into my village. So, make yourself a home. But also, I'm going to go ahead and sign you to a job. So, help the village by cooking. Oh, prepare fish. So, if you have the food processor, you can now have them prepare fish. Do I want food or fish? I think I want to catch the fish on my own, so I'm going to have her cook food. I think that's best, as long as she doesn't eat it, because she is a cat. So, we have her working on food. I believe Maisie is working on wood. I actually want to see how well she's doing, because she's probably gotten more since I've left and come back. Now we got to talk to Bright Bomber again, get some more whatever she's got. What, she just gave me something, I think. Fine, silk, wood, granite. Oh, that's a lot of stuff that I can't carry right now, I think. Yeah, I can't carry all that. Uh, also, I picked up the copper bars and the flex wood, so I did that in my main time. What I'm going to do is add one more build, which I almost forgot to uh, do what I set off to do when we finished off. This is our outhouse. I need to add the little outhouse toilet. So, if we, imagine we, we made like a really big one, but this is what we're doing now. Like... I mean, if this works, I don't... We Oh, do we have the toilet paper rolls? I don't know if we do. Actually, I gotta check to see if we have that right now. Uh, No, it's gonna be on this one, isn't it? Oh, they have, like, actual roll... Like, rolls of toilet paper. I, I like the one that stands up on its own. I don't think I have that one unlocked yet, so I may have to get that. Yeah, from the looks of things, I don't have it unlocked yet. So we will have to get that unlocked, because I think it's supposed to go in here. But we'll get that out of the way soon. But with me having the copper now, uh, I managed to unlock the oven. I don't have enough to make it, though. But I think I'm going to build one more building and then start working on some of the garden uh, plots and get that going. Uh, also, with the flex wheel, I unlock the dynamic foundations and this section of the game, which I'm. it's going to be its own episode one day. Uh, I don't know when because I really I want to practice it first. That way I can learn the mechanics of it, and, you know, I, that might be good for the first episode, but then I really gotta... Oh, this is gonna take so much materials. Like, oh, it only takes five stages, but it needs, what, granite, wood rods, planks, cords, flex wood, flex wood... Oh, I could easily... If I had enough flex wood, I could totally make this. I totally could. But I think making a custom, a custom vehicle would be, would be better. But what I gotta do is make the final... Uh, build from the shacks, and I think do we want to have one out here too? Actually, I'm going to place one like this. I'm, getting, I'm just getting basic ideas. It's stuff to like, just kind of move it out of the way. Uh, that works for me, honestly. Um, let me check to see if there's any comments. I do have my phone ready where I can look at the comments now. Um, let me see. Most of them are just from the YouTube Shorts. Yeah, most of them are from some of my YouTube shorts, which if y'all haven't checked those out, y'all should check those out. Uh, I got a, co a comment uh, from JBLEHMAN57. I don't know how to pronounce the name. Uh, J. Blemin. Oh, J. Blemin. That might make sense. If I'm wrong about that, let me know. But, it's not, but I think that's how, how you say that. Said, why don't you do all custom buildings, no prefabs? That is an interesting concept, and I might kind of work on that here and there we'll see but i kind of want to work with the prefab like the prefabs first that way i do have a basic village because i feel like doing the custom builds is going to take a while and i mean i don't really want to bore y'all like that's that's not what i'm here to do i'm here to make y'all have a good time let y'all uh see what i've been doing Man, I, I feel like out of whack since I've been back from Nashville. I feel just a little bit tired at this point, so... And then right after that, once I got home, I went to Taco Bell. I got my truck, went to Taco Bell, got me some uh, double... Uh, what, like the new, like the, like a che cheesy double beef burrito, got two of those. Yeah, I, I, I'm just here chilling, playing like a Fortnite. I'm pretty sure I'm having a good old time right here. Like, this is all I really need. The, on the only company I need... It's just me, myself, and I, and Lego Fortnite. So we've got the porch shack done. I think... 
something should go here. I don't know what, but I think, you know, we'll put the Stonebreaker in here and then start unlocking more stations, which we'll do in the next episode. Um, I need to find a place to start on the garden, which, if I'm doing, like, if I'm thinking about this rot, you know, maybe have a, you know, start branching out the, like, I'm, I'm trying to build a grid just so I have an even lineup of where my stuff is. So, a garden plot, rot. Right? We got to kind of have it, I kind of just want to eat in the middle and then go from there. And, I, I, and as you can see on the right, I have 71 soil and 51 uh, fertilizer. I don't know why it took me so long to say that. So I'm just going to add this here. I might move the fire later, but I'm going to start out with a kind of a grid for like just to, to get things going. And I might speed this up, speed the process up, which I might just go ahead and do now. Okay, we're done with that. So, so far, that's what this is going to look like. Now, the reason I did the spacing is just so I can walk on the sides of it and be able to collect, hopefully, all, like, each thing. And what I'm going to do is either build out that way with it, or I'm going to build, like, around the garden itself and make a greenhouse with that. And, you know, I'll grab the seeds and start working on that soon. But I think that'll be good for next episode. Um, I'm curious though for like for this first village should we do all five members like for a village but maybe not I think we should just keep with three or at least three for the first one then see where we go from there well it'll all depend on future plans um, but I did want to let everyone know that to, uh, tomorrow with this uh, with this video being on a Saturday I am pre-recording so that's why I'm having to make sure which day it is um, today as the video is being uploaded and you are watching it, it should be Saturday but uh, I don't think I'm going to upload a video tomorrow for Sunday, or I'm not going to upload a video Sunday for uh, Easter Sunday. So I'm going to take a break for that day, spend time with family, and then we'll be back uh, back to work on Monday. And we'll we'll have some fun. We'll work on the garden more. I'm not going to do any farming. I'm going to let everything, you know, take its time. But overall, we did some good. I, I don't remember even what all we did. I know we worked on some builds. We added some houses, added a station or two. Probably, I know I added a chest in, during my farming, Tom. Uh, I think that was the boom we added. We did a lot of stuff, added my garden. Uh, I will be adding some plants uh, in the next episode, so stay tuned for that. But if y'all enjoyed this episode and want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to share this with your friends, share this with your family, share this with whoever. Make sure notifications are turned on so you never miss any of my videos when they go up. Also, if you feel like becoming a member and want to see these videos early, y'all go check out the join button on my channel or check out the link down in the description. And with all of that being said, I will see y'all in the next one. So, with all of that being said, thank y'all so much for watching this episode and have a great day.